Karen was a competitive ice skater with championship potential. She was a great practice skater, but her performance in meets was subpar. We had worked together for a year of intensive, weekly, 90-minute sessions. She had come to me with two primary symptoms. During both her pre-competition warm-ups and her skating performances, she sensed she was not able to feel her legs, and she felt like she had forgotten her programs. Karen also had traumatic life history. She was the first-born child in a chaotic family. Her parents fought constantly, so noise and strife surrounded her from infancy. When Karen's sister was born three years later, the family structure split. The girl's mother aligned with Karen's sister and their father with Karen. This split established a pattern of maternal rejection that carried over into Karen's skating. Her father supported her skating in every way, taking her to myriad practices, lessons, and ultimately competitions. Her mother was uninvolved. She did not attend young Karen's competitions. When her parents' marriage crumbled, Karen was eight, and her mother informed her, the family broke up because of your skating. If that weren't enough to derail her love of and confidence in her skating, Karen suffered numerous injuries on the ice. Skating practice was at least five hours a day, while the competition itself consisted of less than seven minutes, two and a half minutes for what's called a short program and four minutes for a long program. So a skater can put in over a thousand hours of practice for under seven minutes of competition. Accordingly, most injuries happen in practice. In fact, skaters usually fall a number of times during each practice. Although falls and injuries are so common that they're largely ignored, each blow to the ice adds a cumulative jolt to a skater's young body. Karen was no different than any other skater when it came to injuries. However, when she suffered a physical trauma, a concurrent emotional trauma was lodged in her nervous system along with it. When she seriously injured her back and was taken to the emergency room, she again met the cold blast of her mother's rejection. It's your fault. This is what you get. It was no wonder Karen would freeze and panic during warm-ups. The therapeutic approach I was using with Karen was natural flow EMDR. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, EMDR, is a therapy method discovered in the late 1980s by Francine Shapiro, Ph.D., 